were hopped the hell out the hell out of your BBs uh, if you take a look inside the barrel here I have a very minimum like a one millimeter probably even less um, space uh, of rubber pushing down and um, if this is not enough or is uh, actually what happens is this is probably too much and you will have to file the inside of the R hop so what you do you place it on a, a stable surface mm, a half silk a half circular one is fine because it keeps your hard hop in place and then you use a round file like this one covered in a very thin layer of sandpaper so you just make a very round wrap around these and then you file it very carefully along the inner part of the R hop what you want to do is reduce the rubber so that the force needed to push the BB through when the R hop is in place is minimum is uh, kept to a minimum uh, right now the R hop can be installed and my original bucking is a King Arms is pretty crappy uh, op up bucking I turn it upside down uh, and I removed the mold that's that's supposed to provide the, the initial hop so that now it's uh, essentially a cylinder, a plastic cylinder and I even removed the external uh, ridge I think that's called it's, uh, it's another external mold that's supposed to fit in, uh, in the hop-up chamber and this is useful when you have an inside mold so that you know that your hop-up is aligned but in this case I wanted the smoothest internal uh, rubber part and that's gonna be pretty much halfway uh, between where the mold was and the the bottom of the of the hop-up so I'm gonna install it like 90 degrees clockwise as to what it was supposed to be so it's gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna put the R hop in here and then I'm gonna install the the original bucking which is now only going to provide air seal I'm not gonna glue it for now just just as a test it's gonna put it here and then I'm gonna install the original the original hop-up chamber and push it in once this is done you just reinstall it and and test it out if you have a lot of overhop you just take everything out